Society. I work at a centre, it's called the Centre for Science and Environment, and our work is to do uh, public policy advocacy. So we take research and we communicate it to very large numbers of people in India, across the world, um, to essentially push for change. So we use knowledge for advocacy. In India, as you know, you know, we've had, we have a double burden. We have a burden of lack of food and we need to get our agricultural systems right so that we can provide food to a large number of people. Uh, but on the other hand, we are also beginning to see a huge challenge of obesity, overweight, hypertension and all the related diseases that we really cannot afford. We are a poor country, we cannot afford these diseases. So uh, the group I work with, the Center for Science and Environment, we have been essentially raising these issues to break the links between you know food production systems the agri the, the food business and our health and demanding that government should regulate such food uh, bring in better systems so that we can actually make sure that our children don't first get fat and uh, then think about eating well we are a country which still eats well we eat organic we eat good food but we do that because we are poor and the question for us is as we get rich we shouldn't first eat bad get fat get ill and then start learning the value of good food Well, I think public education and information is obviously critical because this is, we put, you know, the question that we have to ask ourselves is do we have enough resources to counter the kind of advertisement blitz that the companies put out? I mean, at the end of the day, the large companies who are in the food business have huge um, you know, advertising budgets and they, they seduce us. They, they put out celebrities to tell us that they, this is the only food that you should have because it is fun food, it is glamour food, it is the right choice that you make. And um, um, my institute has a laboratory, so we tested pesticides and colas a few years ago and we showed that the, that the colas which said that they were clean were actually not so clean because they had pesticides in it. That had a huge impact on people in India who became conscious of the idea of what is wrong with colas. Um, and um, since then we've had a campaign to, we've tested junk food, shown the high levels of salt, sugar, fat in it. And so I think the main message has to be to, to make people aware that this is not the right choice. That's a good question. The, the point is, yes, there are exceptions and we need to promote those exceptions. But the trouble is that in the, in the large global marketplace, those exceptions are too small because they're largely local companies, they produce locally, they supply locally, and the large companies, I think, talk big about the fact that they have cleaner processes and they have, they've taken on better codes of conduct. But the obesity challenge tells us that it is the food that we are eating and it is the food that is being supplied to us by very large corporations that is the problem. So I don't think we should make light of it and I don't think we should allow companies to get away with selling us another, you know, green wash and telling us that, oh, you know, we've, we've cleaned up our business. They have. I think the data is showing out very clearly that no country in the world is fixing the obesity challenge and all the company all the countries in the world have the same companies so I think we need to be very clear that uh, you know the, the the good companies need to be promoted but they're too few and they're too local question. I think change happens when people become aware of the connections with their own health and take control of their own bodies and I think that's what we should all be driving towards, pushing people to understand that this is no longer a business of doctors, it's not a business of governments, it's a business which, in which you and I need to make those individual choices which are the right choices. I would wish for an innovation that would get rid of the soft drink companies. <laughs>